So I just want to quickly talk about um, how to use vitamin K2. First of all, what is it? Um, it's a recently discovered vitamin. They used to talk about vitamin you know, K1 a lot, which is, um, it actually helps you clot. But K2 is a completely different part of that vitamin uh, K complex. And vitamin K2 is vital in the transportation of calcium from the wrong place to the right place. So a lot of people have soft tissue calcium buildup because naturally they're missing this vitamin. And so what happens, they get um, clogging of the arteries, where uh, they get placking. They have uh, tartar on the teeth, uh, cataracts, and arthritis, and bursitis, and tendonitis. <clears throat> and that leads to high blood pressure and stroke and all sorts of things because the calcium starts building up. And as you see, when people get older, they become really, really stiff. That's the calcium building up because they're missing this. This comes from naturally fat, like grass-fed uh, animal products. That's where you get this. But what have, we, what have they, they been telling us to avoid over the last 50 years? Fat. That's the worst thing to do. So they want to tell you to avoid cholesterol foods because they don't want you to get a heart attack, when in fact, this is in cholesterol foods to help clean out the calcium placking. The point is this is much more important to help the cardiovascular system and bone health because it'll take the calcium and drive it right into that bone and make it nice and solid. And I always recommend taking this with vitamin D3. So they work together. Take it in the morning with some fat, maybe a little butter, or even just with your eggs for breakfast. So I like to take it for breakfast and then you can basically find that it'll actually be absorbed and through the whole day. You don't need to spread it out through the day, okay? Uh, vitamin K2 and D3 for the transportation of calcium and a lot of other benefits. And I hope that gave you kind of a little bit of a summary of, of what you're going for.